Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 8, HTML Forms. Lesson 8.5, Option Buttons, Check Boxes, and List Boxes. Option buttons are sometimes called radio buttons, and they force the user into choosing only one item in a list, such as a male or female option, or selecting a payment method. Check Boxes. Check boxes are used to give our users the opportunity to select more than one option from a range of options. With the radio buttons, we could only select one item. With check boxes, we can select them all. Here's an example of check boxes. The list boxes. We can have a list box of items on our forms, either in a drop-down format or as a fixed list. Here's what the two look like on a web page. For a complete list of codes and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.